Welcome back, guys. What's up? Happy Monday to everybody watching. So I'm just sitting at home, trying not to sweat to death because it's really freaking hot. Oh, by the way, can you see? Check out this wicked sunburn I got yesterday while driving. Heads up, make sure you wear some kind of jacket when you're driving. But anyways, thinking about what to do, so here was the idea that I came up with. There's our topic, doing work and making something of yourself. How do we go about doing that, okay? Especially for us Americans and my Vietnamese students who are watching. In America, we're always taught that we're unique, we're special, and we're one of a kind. But the problem is that we don't have any follow through with that. We literally are told we're special, we can do anything. And then nobody tells us that like, you gotta work crazy hours, you gotta push yourself, you gotta grind, and you gotta to, 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 to get anywhere. It doesn't just happen because you're special, right? Not many of us are like Donald Trump and he had everything handed to him. But most of us have to work for what we got. Now, if you're willing to put in the more work, you can get even further, right? Of course there's exceptions, but I'm saying on the average, like if you're willing to just kind of cruise by and put in minimal effort, then that's exactly the return you'll get. You need to do the work. You need to go to school. You need to get some kind of education. Unfortunately, that's how it works in our world. For us Americans, that means going to school and pulling out loans if you can't afford it. But you know what? You gotta take that risk that it's gonna pay off in the long run. See, that useless piece of paper I have, actually, wait, you see this? This useless piece of paper is my college degree, my Bachelor of Arts. There we go, for Marco from Temple University. Shout out, Temple, full life. Anyways, I studied history, it seems useless, and I got it, but, you know what, I wouldn't have my job here if it wasn't for that. Most governments require you to have a degree. You gotta look at that, what you wanna do with your life and you need to plan accordingly, right? Now, that also means that don't just go to college just because you're not sure what to do, right? If you're looking at something where you're gonna need it, then it's worth it. But if you're not sure, then do something else. Look at maybe a trade or whatever. But at the end of the day, it comes back to the same thing of like, you gotta do work. Like, I love Casey Neistat. Like, literally, he has a tattoo, I think, on his arm that says, like, do work or do more. And, like, I totally agree. Like, too many of us, me included, like, you know how many years I pissed away cruising by? I cruised by all of college, dude. F, man, I wasted a lot of time. I was in Italy when I could have been making YouTube and whatnot, right? Now, I could just be sitting there and saying, oh, man, I regret what I did. But instead, I was like, no, now we're gonna do it now. Let's start now. And that's the same thing for you guys, especially the younger viewers. It's like, if you know that there's something you wanna do, find a way to get there and make a plan and do it, right? But you're not gonna get anywhere without doing it, right? So often it makes me crazy when I go to America and they're like, oh, weight loss pills. No, F that stuff, go and run and work out. That's how you're gonna lose weight and eat less. Oh, but my, no. Go out and do the work and you will see the result. Most of the time in life, that's how it works. And you need to go out and you need to freaking do it, all right? There's no substitute for hard work. That's really the gist of this video. I've had people say to me, oh, you're so lucky you get to go abroad. I was like, no, I work for this degree. And then I bought that plane ticket and I came here on my own. And that was terrifying to say goodbye to my friends and family everybody and everything I knew and cared about and felt comfortable with I had to leave but that's how you grow is by getting out of that comfort zone I would never have met Huang and I would have had any of this I wouldn't have had this channel if it wasn't for that anyways I need to go do some shopping so let's go and give you a little bit of a brain break So what I'm trying to say is don't worry about what other people say. 
Don't worry about what others do. Remember one thing, there's seven billion of us here. Not even I am the most unique person. There's many other people like me, just like there's many other people like you. What you think about doing and what you want to do is totally fine as long as you're not hurting anybody else or damaging yourself. Just go for it and do it. But to get there, you need to make that first initial step and do something. That's why I have that hashtag do work, hashtag motivation Monday. It's all about like in your head, you're stopping yourself from doing things. You think somebody else walked on that plane? No, I walked on that plane and I flew over here and I set everything up for myself. If I can do it, anybody else can do it. But again, it's just that matter of like getting out there and doing it because nobody else is gonna do it for you, you know? So I've been watching these videos. I watch these people like read Reddit and this came out to me perfectly. I was just watching this today and it correlates perfectly. Like, and I'll just read this for you. You eventually realize that the rat race is a complete waste of time. Those jobs are meaningless. The job title is just hot air. When you retire, you will immediately lose your lofty corporate status unless you're some real big shot like a big bank CEO or chairman and you have left no real impact on the world and will be instantly forgotten. Once you're retired, you're just another anonymous rich person. Nobody cares. So what was it all for? It brings me back to the big thing I was saying and the one thing I kind of love, we're all equal and not one person is better than the other. And I flip it the other way saying like, you know, I'm not one, one of a kind. There's many other people like me and you need to expe accept that. Do a job that you love, do something that you love. Don't do it because of some title. You know, like nowadays, like, and you, you know, I think us young people are starting to see through the facade of like, oh, you're an assistant vice branch manager. It's like, okay, like you're an assistant to the assistant to the assistant manager, like, all right, cool. Like, and then they think they're so important, but in reality, like nobody cares. You know, I worked for uh, an I worked for an a-hole in America, and like he thought he was a big shot. But in reality, like outside of work, nobody cared about him. And at the end of the day, if you're doing something that you love and that you're passionate about, and leaving a positive influence on the world, isn't that all that matters in the end? Like, who cares about making millions and millions of dollars? It's not that important. Instead, go out and do something you're really passionate about, something you really love, or something that will open up other possibilities and other opportunities for you. Don't waste your time in that rat race, like they said. That's why I got out of America, dude. And I'm not saying you should get out too, but I'm saying you need to do something you're passionate about. If you're working at a bank and you're happy with it, then by all means, go for it. I'm not stopping you, and I'm not gonna tell you what to do. But I'm also saying there's other options. But whatever your desires or your goals are, you need to make a plan and you need to stick with that and you need to try to find a way there. I understand there's certain situations where you can't get around it, but try your best to go to get there. And remember, it's baby steps. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome, to get to its peak, you're talking about 700 years it took to build that city to what, to its glory. And it's the same thing for you. Don't look at people who are, you know, if you're in your, in your late teens or early 20s, don't look at somebody who's in his late 20s or 30s and be like, man, look at him. Like, no, you're comparing him. He's 10 years ahead of you. Don't do that. Don't compare yourself to other people. Only compare yourself to the previous you. If you're happier than the old you, then you're doing a good job. And remember, that's the only metric that matters is yourself. And try to do something that, that leaves a mark. I mean, that's why I love teaching. That's why I always say, like, no matter what you're doing here, you're leaving a mark on these kids and it's amazing. But go out and do something. That's why I love doing YouTube because I hope that in the future, I'll be able to influence other people. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. At least in my, my opinion, it's not about money. Nobody cares about your money. I, I had an a-hole boss here who got fired, but like she thought she was such a hot shot. But the second she leaves the office, do you think anybody cares what she says? Nah. And people might respect her because she has more money than the average person, but otherwise it doesn't matter. And I feel like that's a big thing. Like, I, have you heard that book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up? Like that book is amazing. Like I've never read it, but that mentality, like not giving up and just doing your own thing is, is like where we all need to be. So anyways, I've gone for hours and hours about this, but at the end of the day, like follow your passion. Don't let others influence what you're doing and do work, son. You, like, you gotta hustle to get there. It's gonna be hard at first, it's gonna be slow, and it's gonna seem like a million miles away, but you'll get there because that's what you need, you need perseverance. Because remember, by making that first step, you're ahead of everybody who's never made that first step. And then when you make that second step, you're way above people who've never even bothered starting. Because remember, well wishes and wants and desires, they don't mean anything without actions. So get out there and do work. Thanks for watching, guys. You know what to do, and I'll catch you in the next one.